Cheers! Cheers. Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches! RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10, Episode 10! <laughs> First things first, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Try wink.com slash movie bitches. You get $22 off your first month of wine. This episode was a hoot. Oh, it was. I mean, then, I'm, I'm sad. Yeah. And I'm bummed out by the end of it. But yeah, the but first, first two thirds yep, was a hoot. It was a hoot and a half. I was dying. We were cackling. Cameron and Eureka come. I mean, everybody everyone comes, comes back, back into in. the workroom. They're all sort of congratulating them, like, oh, yay, you know, yeah. you're, you're still here. It's cool or whatever. And then the drama starts. Eureka and, and Cameron are like, oh my god, like we did the splits at the same time, didn't we? Right? We like did the splits yeah. at the same time. And Aquarius like, yeah, like at the point in the song when everyone would have done the splits. And that's what I said last week. And we ended up cutting it because of time. We ended but up like, cutting it. Didn't we hit the splits at the same time? I think we did. I mean, it's that part of the song where everyone would do a split. Trinity oh. had, had tweeted something about like the splits aren't that revolutionary anymore. Which I really felt this week. Unless we'll you're dropping it. from the fucking ceiling. Yes. I guess sure Aquaria was like pissed about it. You know, like she was pissed that right, someone right, didn't right. go home. So maybe she was a little bit testier, a little sure. bit more biting. She was feeling her feelings. Yeah, but I mean it was She fair. wasn't um explaining herself well. I just think the, that how we've been throughout the whole conversation should uh, have some sort I mean, girl, I'm so lost. She's basically like, I'm mad. I don't like when they do the double save, you know, in any season. And right. I don't think that's cool. And I think people are coasting and she doesn't say who. Yeah. And Cameron's like, she's talking about me or whatever. And then Asia goes all in on her. A bitch can't even get a second chance around her for some salty ass hoe trying to make it about her. She's like, I'm not done. She picks up her Red Bull and she's like, no, I'm not finished. I'm still going to talk about this. I'm mad. I really, I'm, I really like Asia. I really like Asia too. Um, I'm here for Asia. She's my front runner at this point. <clears throat> yeah. But so, I mean, I don't know. I understood where Query was coming from, particularly when she says, you know, they're not going to do this again. Right. So it's like. She was saying basically like, I didn't get a second chance. That's not fair kind of thing. Well, I don't. Like, if everyone doesn't have the opportunity for a second chance, she was I mean, kind she of hasn't saying, needed the opportunity for a second chance. Exactly. But what I took away from it was that she was saying that it's like, now this is used up, mm. and this is the final six. Again, I'm ready to fucking move on. And she doesn't seem to think that Cameron deserves to still be there. Right. Or Cracker, or whoever else she's saying has been skated by. I know, I've been kicking ass all fucking competition, and I'm mad that I can't go on to the top five now, because there's people no, who've been, no shade, but people who've been skating by. Well, and then Monet kind of tries to be like, well, I mean, I see what Aquarius is saying. Like, right. I was excited when I was safe, that, oh, I made it to the top five. I'm so proud of myself. I, you know, I right. made it there, and then it was like, that was taken away. And so yeah. she tries to kind of be like, I mean, I see what she's saying inarticulately. Right. Aquarius, you were doing a great job up until this point. Keep on doing that and then you won't have to worry about lip syncing for yourself. Just keep on doing you and we're all gonna keep on doing us and I'll keep on not winning challenges and Asia gonna keep on winning. So then the next day they all work, go into the work room yep. and Aquarius like, look, I was feeling my feelings yeah. and I had really put a lot of pressure on and sure. energy into top five. Just make it to the top five. Wouldn't that be amazing? And so she's just basically like, sorry for like, if I made any of you angry or, or right. was rude and like, I'm sorry. I just wish I could have like expressed how I was feeling about that without hurting people's feelings. But I mean, oh my God, her, her outfit, hair, and her, her hair. hair was also too much. God, it was jazzy devil. It wasn't, I mean, she looked like East Ventura in, in When Nature Calls where they like, it's like the white devil, white devil and they have this hair all set up and I was like, what? yes. White devil, white devil. Did you just refer to me as white devil? This how they know you. Leave that part out from now on. With the with the flame leotard, it was like. Da, 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 ch, cha, pow. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was a lot. She's killing the workroom looks. And Asia, thank you for checking me and putting me in line. And uh, let's play today. So then Rue walks in to the workroom, yes. and I was like, wait. I feel like I've seen that suit before. Uh -huh. it's, how could you miss it? It's right? just so fabulous. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute, that was the suit from the All Stars 3 promo with Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Well, so then th this is what I'm trying to figure out because Rue seemed drunk. Had Rue already filmed 
with Shaka Khan and they got trashed with each other and then they were like, oh, we need you on set, Rue. And she was like, what? Maybe, or had it been like a long day and she took a little bump or something. I don't know. I, I don't know, but I love I it. I loved it. Rue was just having a lot of fun. It was fun. no filter Rue and I was oh, yeah. happy about it. Yes. So the mini challenge was a little weird, but fun. I um, think it would have been more fun if Mike Ruiz had been the photographer. Absolutely. It's always more fun if Mike Ruiz is the photographer. But he just gives a, such good direction, direction and he's, you know, so Takes yummy. better photographs. He's such a yummy, beefy daddy. That is true. Well, that would have been perfect for him. Oh my god, yes. Dressed up like your butchest, they said your butchest man or whatever. The other problem that I, like, I like this idea, but it would have been more fun to have done, like, Tom of Finland dress up. Like... <laughs> I was okay with it, it was fine. I mean, it was fine. It was silly. Yes. Yeah, Rue's like, dress up like your butch's queen. Right. Uh, we're gonna have you selling a fragrance made of essential oils. And it's called Drake. Drake. I'm calling Drake. I thought he said Drake. I thought he said Drake, then we rerounded and I said Dre. Drake. And then I rerounded and I said Drain. Drake. And then finally, once Cameron came on and started yes. doing it, we heard trade. It's, and I was like, oh. oh. It took a while. I'm a long time. confused. Yeah. Smell all this wood. Trade. Nice, nice. All right, thank you very much. But yeah, Cameron comes on dressed like a lumberjack construction worker. Yeah. Um, looking good. Yeah. She is the trade of the season. Sure. So it made sense. Yeah. And they all have to sort of say their... They have a bunch of catchphrases, it seems like, to pick from. I thought they made it up, but then later on it definitely seemed like it was to pick from. Because so, they kept maybe recycling, you, like, it was like... Flavored it with your own, or maybe you knew the list and then you kind of had to pick the one you wanted. Sure. And I thought Cameron's photo was pretty bad. The photo The photo itself, itself like, was She terrible. looked good, but like the, the shadow yeah. was yeah. over her eyes, couldn't see her eyes, and she was doing a real like... Perfect. This was where I was like, where's Mike Ruiz? Where is he? <laughs> Someone who can take photographs. I love it. And direct them into, like, I love it. Where's a social media kid to, like, an well, Instagram bitch Rue to be like, still yes. still be back there, like, sure. yes, tell me more about this trade. And I love it. Yeah. But, you know, come on. Please. Where's that, like, hot Instagram guy with the man bun from Coachella four years ago? Who? What? I'll just put it here. <laughs> there was, like, a guy that was at Coachella with, like, a, in, like, a man bun mm -hmm. who's, like, ripped and hot. And everyone's like, oh, my God, he's so hot. Smell all this wood. wood. Right. But Cameron wasn't really selling the, like, smell all this wood. Right. Yeah. Well, what if it was just the axe straight down the middle so that there's, like, the wood. Smell all this wood. Wood. Right? That would be great. Yes. Yeah. I really thought this was Cameron's challenge to lose, obviously. Right. she's the trade of the season. Um, and I thought this was not great. No. And then Aquaria comes out. Boy. With this hat and this pencil mustache. She looks like Ed Wood or something. It's like, what's going on here? And then like the... <laughs> red rimmed yeah. eyes. That's why I thought maybe they had the list because then her catchphrase is, just don't get it in your, your eyes. eyes. I, I think they like, did have a list. And so she saw that and was like, oh, I'll do this <laughs> because that's like a thing. Otherwise I was like, what? what? what's going on yeah. with this red rimmed? <laughs> but she was, I thought she was It was, was funny. funny. I liked it. Just don't get it in your eyes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, and the next was Monet. And no, it was Randy. 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 Are you Randy? I am Randy the Woodchuck. Randy the Woodchuck. Oh my god. I thought she I thought she was got robbed. robbed. I thought she was so funny. Yes. I thought this was the best and one. And then kept being like, you put a little spit in your hip. Oh my god, it was so funny. All tea. All tray. <laughs> You're giving it a little twist at the end that's oh. kind of like, oh, hey, no. uh, I'll, I'll trade. trade. <laughs> but then the final look was good. Well, and then she goes, okay, why don't you uh, adjust yourself? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> Down there. <laughs> It's real long. Like, it's real long. And she's feeling her dick down on her knee. Down here, well, yeah. it's, it's, it's real long. Going to get oh, right. <laughs> I think you could be America's next chop model. I was, cra I was cracking up. I was cracking up. And then next was Eureka, and she came out, and I was like, oh my god, it's John Candy. <laughs> I was like, it's John Candy as Barf the Mog from Spaceballs. What's happened? I was like, what? 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 <laughs> It was pretty crazy. And then I couldn't not see, see it. it. And sure. then I was just like, oh, John Candy, I love you. <laughs> oh, wait, what's that? Why is he telling me to pull his finger? I don't know. Uh, I didn't like this one, personally. I liked the chest hair that yep. she glued to, yep. <laughs> which made me laugh. But her actual, like, 
photo and like the catchphrase, like smell my right didn't really make me laugh. No, and I, I just didn't find this humor funny, and I found her annoying. I don't know. This was the beginning for me of uh, Eureka annoyed me all episode. The beginning of the end. It was like I just couldn't take it anymore. I was like, mm -mm, I'm not feeling this. I'm no, done. I'm done. I'm done. And then there was Miss Cracker, who, um... I thought had the best transformation. Yeah. She does a whole five o'clock shadow, yeah. and I was like, she looks like kind of like a meth addict or something. Ugh. Like, it was like, it wasn't like, oh, you look amazing, but it was no. definitely like, who's that? For sure. A minute. You know, like, wait, Well, what? and then she, like, drew on some chest hair and, like, some belly yeah. button fuzz. You it know, definitely like... looked the most different, like, yes. you know, from her original... <laughs> or whatever. Yes. Um, I didn't think she was funny, but I liked her look. Yeah. Smell me. That's trade. The trade of it all. I don't know, she wasn't like having much fun with it. No. She was just like, smell me. Yeah. Okay. It seemed like Rue was really trying to coax it out. Draw it out. So last was Asia yeah. O'Hara, who I thought had the worst transformation. She just, it was just kind of like Asia was Asia there. Asia and like high water yeah. Dry fishing overalls. Yeah, um, she didn't camp it up as much. No, I mean, her, she didn't do a ton with her face mm -hmm. or change her voice much. No. Her, hers was Although like, I did like her mannerisms and like biting the lip and like I got the right feels from it, but it the look wasn't super right. mask, let's say. Just Which don't is... just don't get it in your mouth. Like I thought her <laughs> in the end her photo was funny. Yes. But like the performance, she wasn't really doing a character for me. No. So, so then I was like, oh, so Monet's gonna win. And then I, and then Eureka won. And I was yeah. like, what? I really wish that Monet had won because that would have changed a lot. Yeah. So Eureka wins. And we find out it's the family resemblance challenge. Yes. And that it's all social media... Kings. Kings. Superstars. I was like, oh no, I'm not gonna know who any of these people are. I knew like two. <laughs> Ish. Like, and that was like, I know their name. Right. Like, I couldn't tell you much about them. Yeah, I couldn't tell you, you, couldn't tell you them. much about them. No, but that's I was like, true. Oh, you know. So it's Tyler Oakley, yep. who is, I know, is like a famous YouTuber. But the only reason I really know that is because he was on Amazing Race. Oh, my God. And then Chester C., who yeah. is like a singer. Okay. YouTube right. person. On um, Broadway, too, I think yeah. I read. Yeah, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, Kingsley. Who looked really familiar. Yeah. But I couldn't place why. No. Uh-uh. But, but I, he's I felt also the same a way. YouTuber. Yeah. And then Anthony Padilla, who was um did the smoosh stuff, which I have some knowledge of, but that's it. it that is the smoosh is a thing and it exists. And I think they made like a smoosh movie and I at some point saw the trailer. And then Raymond Braun. Yep. Who is also a YouTuber, who seems fabulous. Yeah. He was great. Yeah, I really liked him. And then Frankie Grande, Grande. who's only famous for being on social media and for no other relations. <laughs> that was so weird. We'll talk about it. So Eureka gets to pick, because she won, Rigor Morris. Uh, <laughs> and she's like, well, Rue said to Aquaria like that she was stupid for not having been strategic, so right. I'm going to be shady and strategic, and I'm going to try and screw your Aquaria over Yeah. by giving her a black guy. I mean, that was the, yeah. Like, that was... It, it was the reason. She was like, it will be harder for her to do his makeup. And I found this very awkward and uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. I was like, Ugh. And it's like... Particularly since she was just so vocal about it. Yes. She was just like, yeah, it's because it'll be harder for her because their skin tones are different. And I hope it fucks her up. And I was just like, eh. I think Eureka was trying to be strategic by pairing me with a person of color. But I've done makeup on people of color before, so this is not something that scares me whatsoever. Eureka then picks Frankie Grande for oh, herself. Right. And I was right. like... Oh, mistakes. I mean... Mistakes were made, but it turns out they weren't, but I still think I they were. I still think they were. So they all break off into pairs, and we get to see each of them sort of meeting each yes. other. And Asia and Raymond, like, hit it off like gangbusters. What do you know about drag? I've seen every episode of Drag Race. Great. Some of them a couple of times. Great. I'm tucked. It's like walking into a dream right now, so yes. I'm really excited. At first I thought he said, and I'm tucked. Oh, <laughs> which I would have been so great. I'm tucked. It's like, I've prepared everything, and I'm, I'm currently tucked. tucked. And I was I'm like, ready. oh my god, he really <laughs> is ready for this. 
And then he's just like, okay, well, what, who, like, from past seasons, like, who's your favorite drag queen? I think that my ultimate favorite is Latrice Royale. Done. Because okay. for me, it's about the heart, and I think yes. that drag queens are like saints in our community. I like her already. <laughs> She's just like, Latrice Royale, because it's all about the heart. Like and that. like, how it makes you feel, and how you spread the word of love to, into the entire community. And like, he was a real ambassador. He was, I really like him. Yeah. He was the one also who furthered his brand the most. Yes. Like, I, he was the only one where I was like, yeah, I really want to see what he's like, doing. Like, oh, I might actually go check out his challenge. Exactly. His channel challenge. His challenge. <laughs> channel, channel, channel. channel. Let's go. Let's get it channel. together, girl. His channel. I really like to talk about messages of empowerment on social media. I like to encourage people to get involved politically, to speak out about issues that they care about, and to just really try to foster a community among LGBTQ people. Everyone else kind of talked maybe a little here and there of like how they got started or whatever. But not but, really like, this is what I do because right. I'm passionate about this. Yeah, and I was like, I like you. You have a voice. Oh, he knew what he was doing. Yeah. I see you, Eureka. I see you looking. <laughs> you nervous? Uh-huh. You should be. Oh, hey, Eureka. Oh, Eureka, you nervous? You, nervous? <laughs> you should be. I was like, is he a contestant on the show already? Like, Loved it. Feeling his own. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Monet and Tyler Oakley get paired up, and they're having a fun time together. Yeah. And they decide, Monet decides that oh his God. drag name should be Short Change. It's good. What do you think? Uh, this is just, I'm just throwing it, I just thought about it. Short Change. Short Change. <laughs> Well, this was so funny to me that it goes from like, yes, queen work, yes, Tyler Redding, yes, yeah, oh I got god. this Kiki, oh my god, to then like, oh, so you're straight? My, uh, my ex-girlfriend loved it and was always on the back. Oh, so you're a heterosexual? My, oh, yeah. I'm, Don't worry about I, it. At first, I was like, well, he just said girlfriend girl. That doesn't mean that he's a heterosexual. It just means that he's not homosexual. That's true. That's true. Because I was getting some feels from him. Yeah, Miss Cracker contributing to bi erasure here. <laughs> the only kind of bi erasure I'm here for is an all bisexual cover band of erasure. <laughs> I want to see that happen. It'd be really great. They just call it bi erasure. Yeah, so it seems like he's gonna be a real stick in the mud, you know. They yeah, sort of yeah, they try and play are starting oh. this narrative of oh, you're very quiet and mm. oh, you're kind of reserved. Yeah, he's got a real. I didn't care for his patchy goatee. No, and I was like, yay, he's gonna shave it. I wish he'd shaved it sooner. I feel like that in itself transformed him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it was a good match ultimately because he seems like internal and mm -hmm. and like I'm gonna work through this and process it and then. Well, and I think that that also kind of presented the transformation where he's like, here right. I am, this like bearded guy who's kind of whatever, and then it's like, haha, I'm Cookie. And so you're like, oh. Rue loves that. Yeah, exactly. Like, Rue was eating that up with a fucking spoon, and I think that was Aquarius' biggest problem. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, we'll talk about this more, but I think that sometimes it's hard with these makeover challenges where it's like, you can only control so much of this other person. Right. And it's like, you can make them look great, you can dress them well, and you can try and get them to come out of their shell, you can try and get them to live their fullest selves, but like, if they don't have the biggest transformation personality-wise... Right, you're not gonna win. There's only so much you can do, and you're not gonna win. And then we get to Frankie Grande and Eureka. He's an awful lot. He is, but it was fun and sweet. I mean, he was just like, okay, let me tell you all about myself, well, and this sorry. is what I did, and I went to Broadway, and then I did this, and then it wasn't working out for me, and I, this, but is he, my, this is my entire life story about how then I went on YouTube, and then I got Big Brother, blah, 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 and I don't have a famous sister whatsoever, and that didn't contribute to any of this at all, and I was just like, well, I mean, just, you know. I mean, it, that's fair. Like, just. I was gonna you say. You know, that's. Sure, you know. sure. I was gonna say he was keeping it real in that, like. Eureka asked him, tell me about yourself. He was like, oh, I love talking about myself. Okay. I was a mom of me on Broadway. I moved out to LA to pursue the dream. Mm -hmm. And the dream was not coming. So I decided to start a YouTube channel. Two and a half years, I posted two videos a week. And, wow. and then uh, eventually I got Big Brother. Just say, you know, like, I feel like Frank Stallone, you know, like, gets it. He understands. Like, I've always wanted to compete on the show, but I don't, I can't do anything myself. He's talking about how, oh, I'm so excited because I would love to be a drag queen, but, like, I have no talent. Right. That's basically what he says. <laughs> well, he's like, I can't do, I can't sew. I can't sew. And I can't, I do, can't makeup. do makeup. And I was just like, but 
those are things you can learn. But um, anyway, he was like, oh my God, I'm so excited because you get to do it all. So now I get to compete on the show yeah. and not do anything. Because you have to do it all. <laughs> Eureka seemed to be having fun with it. So that was the important thing, right? Mm. It was, uh, the big question was, are they going to clash? Oh my clash? God, can you imagine if like Frankie had been with Cameron or something? Oh God. Well, it would have been like insane. He would have just overpowered her. And then we go to Cameron and Anthony and we find out that he too is straight. Yes. Or has a girlfriend. Sure. I mean, sure. He could also we don't know how he identifies. Because then Cameron is like, describing her drag and she's like, oh, right. I like to be hyper feminine. And he's like, what What's does that, that mean? mean? And I was like, okay. But like, you took English. Like, you can put it together. <laughs> you don't know his life. But it was coming. What's hyper feminine mean? Uh, I want something kind of sparkly and flowy. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. This was like, um,. A whatever conversation for me. Well, yeah, she kind of just is like, oh, yeah, it just means I like sparkles and yeah. girly things, I guess. Yeah. And then we get to Kingsley and Aquaria. And I, I thought this was interesting. He's sort of talking about how he couldn't find anyone to talk about Britney with. Yeah. And he couldn't find anyone to talk about award shows with and all the things that he liked. So he, he connected with people over the internet by making videos about the stuff he loves yeah. and then found people that also love that stuff. And yeah. I was like, oh, that was, that was interesting and cool. Would you say that that resonated with us? Yeah, it did. <laughs> I liked it. I, I wish I had learned more sure. about it, but I liked it. So then Rue comes into the workroom. Yes. Oh my God, and was just... She it was... might as well have had like two martinis in each hand. Did she not? I think they were just invisible. She like took shots of Patron before she came in. I don't know. I loved it, to yeah. be clear. It yes. was amazing. Yeah. Just to see, when you walked in the workroom, my first thought was, well, that one right there won't need no padding. <laughs> oh, I know. She's shapely. Are you talking about down here? Oh, yeah. Rue can knock it enough of Chester's ass. No. Him, Rue and, and Lee Dawson are going to have to fight over him. <laughs> and now that he shaved that goatee, he's looking much better. Yeah. It's just the truth. Facts are facts. Facts are facts, America. Facts are facts. I don't know if goatees... Are ever good? ...work for me. Nope. I guess Tony Stark? Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Hey, granola breath. Hey, granola breath. You got something on your chin. I'm growing a goatee. Well, that's good. You don't want to be the last one at the coffee house without chin pubes. She goes up to Miss Cracker and she's like, oh, so what do you think Eureka's strategy was? Like, do you think she had a plan? And she's just like, no, I think she just picked the one that was already in drag for herself. <laughs> And she chose the one that was already in drag. Yeah, I, think, <laughs> I, 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 oh. I want this cracker. Like, that's the cracker I'm going to put brie, brie cheese on. <laughs> sure. Yeah. You know? No, I thought Miss Cracker was, I was enjoying her more this episode than I have. Yes. I, I still am not in a like, yes, oh, I get it. You're amazing yet. But I was like, oh, I see. It's coming out. I see it. It comes out in little bits and pieces that you just don't necessarily expect it. To, like, it's yeah, like, cool. oh, and then there's like fun love. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. yeah. The front cover <laughs> is that ass. <laughs> All right, so you bitches put on some heels and go snap some motherfucking trophies. Dear Evan Hansen in the motherfucking house, bitch. <laughs> she goes to Monet and Tyler Oakley and she's like, so. So oh, Tyler, you've also got a fat ass. I think like, Rue is obsessed just... with people's asses. I mean, of, okay. why, of course she is. Right? I mean, I'm just, I'm not gonna Did lie. Did you not see last week's episode? Well, right. <laughs> All it just made me want was for RuPaul to compliment me on my ass. Yeah. You know, it's just like, that's add that to the bucket list for RuPaul to notice. Tyler, you have a fat ass, don't you? Ma'am. <laughs> she was a hungry, hungry dick pic this week. <laughs> ass pic? Sure. Ham, ham hawk. I don't know. The thirst was real. Yes. She keeps saying, oh, Tyler, this, yeah. Tyler, that. Her name. Her name. Rue, you keep saying Tyler. She has a name. <laughs> it's short change. Love it. Now, remember, when you say short change, do not use the T. <laughs> so then she goes to Cameron and Anthony, and they were both reserved. You got quite a challenge on your hands, don't you? I do. I have a straight man. You Am I challenging? Do. Well, she goes, uh, Cameron, did you like talk to him about drag? Because like he's oh, yeah. straight. I think we talked about you know what it takes to do drag, and it's you not... think you talk, bitch? Are you in a coma? Bitch, are you in a coma? <laughs> when men get into drag, it's like 
getting boozed up. You never know if you're going to be a fun drunk, <laughs> a mean drunk. Is she going to be a real flirt? Is she going to be real coy and slutty? Or is she going to be like, hey, you know, like no. it was fun. It was fun. Well, then this was really silly then where Ruth's like, well, so, you know, what's your name? And yeah. Then, well, well, we couldn't think of any K names, names that start with K. And I was like, okay, you guys, you really need to get it together. <laughs> right? I was like, oh, God, this is like a train wreck. We were trying to think of a K or a C name, and I was having trouble. Bitch, are you in a coma? <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Michaels, uh, she sounds like a girl you would have hated in high school. <laughs> oh my god, are you going to the dance, dance? Kelly, Kelly Michaels? Michaels? <laughs> I love this so much. Are you going to the dance? Kelly Michaels. <laughs> <laughs> That's an impression of me as my drag <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that. Bruce, whole thing, this persona, I was just like, I don't know what this is, and I love it. Bye, Kelly. Bye. 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 And then we get to Asia and Raymond. Yes. And he is talking about how like important drag is to him and how he really tries to use his social media and his platform to like push issues that he's passionate about and get, and to people, get other involved people to do the in, same like, yeah. politics and, and social issues and the LGBT community. Like, he was like, he was selling the shit yes. out of himself. Yes. It was like a job interview. I mean, he, yes, he and sold he got himself. The job. Yeah. When people think about social media, they often think just me, 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 what's my viewpoint? I really like to talk about messages of empowerment on social media. And then we get to Eureka and Frankie. All I remember is that Rue was like, how are you gonna, you know, Eureka's a big queen. How are you right. gonna have a family resemblance? I was like, well, I mean, like, you don't have to, not everyone in the family has to be overweight, but right. like, let's calm down. But um, she, Eureka basically is like, oh, I'm gonna make a tiny Eureka. She's gonna have on a little baby loaf. She is going to be a little tiny twin Eureka. Oh, right. And I was like, oh no, oh. I don't know about this. Right. I don't know about this. I'm still not sure about this. Actually, I'm sure I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't care for it. That's exactly what I was just going to say. Last, she goes to Aquaria and Kingsley, and he's sort of being reserved, and Rue's trying to get him out of his shell, because he's sort of worried about what people will think. Yeah, Back a little home, bit. He's sort of feeling worried the that pressure, he'll look stupid or, right. or whatever it is. Like, he's not feeling confident, and Rue is just like... Life is a banquet, and most poor suckers are starving to death. Get in there and put some heels on. <laughs> put some false eyes on. <laughs> Live life out loud. Yeah. Like, Rue was Rue all is of the... preaching and also drunk and... Just all of the platitudes yes. are just, like, coming yes. out of her. Yes. Just like, and I've got this age-old wisdom and this age-old yep. wisdom. Yep. <laughs> Work it, I am it, hello, I'm gonna serve all of this right here. Show these bitches. This was though where I was like, oh gosh, if Aquaria doesn't get Kingsley to really like live it up and just yeah. like. Well, that's the problem too, is like Aquaria is pretty like subdued in a way. She's fierce yes. and she turns a good look, but she's not like. Effervescent. No, she's whatever. not like a live life out loud kind of queen. And so. I guess she nailed the family resemblance challenge then. <laughs> but, you know, it wasn't what Rue was looking for. It wasn't. No. Rue wanted to really see Kingsley, like, open up and just transform when when Break the wig, come, the wig comes on. And yeah. it's like, that's not it exactly didn't quite what happened. happened no. And I was afraid that if that was what happened, then Aquaria was going to be on the bottom. And she wasn't quite. Well, yeah. she was in the bottom three. Yeah. Well, and then Rue's leaving, and she's just like, okay, uh, let's see which men's is this. Oh my God. All right, gentlemen, is start your engines, is and may the best women's is win is this. I mean, unless it's just like sleep deprivation, and she's been whatever it is. I loved love it. it. It was that perfect cocktail of yes. whatever she had done that day, yes. and I was here for all of it. It was so much fun. Like, I was just having so much fun this episode. Absolutely. Just cracking up and just like, yep. yes! And then everyone's getting ready, and Eureka is having Frankie put on uh, some kind of spank situation, but put it on oh, backwards, yes. so the ass oh is in God. the front. And there's lots of talk about his... Big ball to this balls. big balls. It was a missed opportunity because no one talked about his grande balls. Right? Girl, those aren't grande. Those are venti. <laughs> right? They, they, they write themselves. The jokes were there to just scoop up. Frankie big balls. Grande. Frankie hey. grande big balls for days. Big balls for days. To just fondle. And everyone's sort of starting to get into drag. And then, I mean, I think this was like maybe the first time or at least in a while that we've actually seen Ms. Cracker be excited. Oh my god, right? <laughs> it worked! 
I'm having a good time. I almost <laughs> forgot that my reputation as a queen is on the line today. And then, oh my God, this cookie turns around and I was like, oh, oh my God. Right? I literally was gagged. She looked gagged. beautiful and she was also just like, yes. oh, oh, oh my God. Oh yes. yes, feeling herself in the mirror and oh. it's just like good. It was really good. I mean, she definitely was serving some Marilyn Monroe realness and I was here for it. It was more Jane Mansfield. Sure, thing. that's true. That's true. It was just, it was like really funny because they cut from oh my God. Miss Cookie just looking like King flawless. Dynamite. And just like, oh yes. Gorgeous. Bitch, like dead cut to Frankie Grande looking insane. Insane. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he looked like Cynthia Lee Fontaine, like Black Swan. Yep. I mean, I also said it looked like Bianca Del Rio and Agador Spartacus had a love child. So it was like, much. I mean, I was like, oh no. Oh, like I literally no. gasped and went, oh. <gasps> yeah. It was so much. And I was like, oh good God, I hope she fixes that. Only sorta. Only I was sorta. like, oh, maybe it needs to cook a little longer. She'll blend it out. No, it didn't. It was sheer much. So quick commercial break, and then we'll be back with the runway, the video, and a lip sync and untucked. Oh, it wasn't just a lip sync. It was fabulous. I love this lip sync. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not saying I love the outcome. Sure. It was a great fucking lip It was sync. a really good lip sync. It was. It was. <laughs> Rue walks down the runway, and I'm gonna sue. <laughs> She walks down the runway and it's our logo. Yeah. It was crazy. It really was. And it was like red on this side, black yep. on that side. Oh my God, it was craziness. Yeah. So then the guest judges are Miles Heiser from 13 Reasons Why, which I don't watch. I also don't watch. And Lizzo. Lizzo. She was fabulous and oh. her hair was everything. Yeah. And I love her. Love her. She seems great. Yes. Feeling good as hell. Well, so then uh, yeah. Rue is doing her, you know, and made, made the, best the best woman, woman win. And, and she, she starts just, cracking up. And we had to rewind it because I thought, wait, did we miss something that made her laugh? Nope. She just cracks the fuck up. Yeah. Gentlemen. <laughs> Don't do it, Miss Vanjie. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> and she's just like. But then, but so then she does it again and she goes. She does like the next take. So you're right. Gentlemen, start your engines. And may this woman win! And I was like, so that she still fucked it up and they couldn't do another take? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Gentlemen, start your engines. And may this woman win. No, because then the, she backs up like Miss Angie. Miss <laughs> Angie. I love it. It was so silly. So they absolutely had to have just like re edited this and then like, let's toss this Vanjie stuff in since it's this, caught on so let's much. Let's toss this outtake in. Right? Yeah. Love it. This one was like 100%. Let's toss this yes. outtake in. Yes. Not mad. No. So category is family drag values. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> First down the runway is Asia and America O'Hara. And I was gagged by this. I love this. I loved this. I can't believe she made a second f***ing coat. Okay. I mean, it was just like everything in the kitchen sink, 80s jacket. Yep. You know, I'm sure it made a lot of noise when you walked. I mean, my sister had this coat basically and it was the most atrocious thing I've ever seen. It's like flowers on it and like, I feel like there was like a deck of cards in, in like glitter, you know, it was an awful lot. Uh, this was more fashion. Yes. America's face looked beat. I could have used a maybe a bigger wig because her head yes. was still, like it could have looked more. This is a little soccer mommy. Yeah. And I could have got a little more fab drag. Yeah, 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 yeah. It could have been a little more voluminous. Yeah, like, ooh. Yeah. Give it a little flip, something. Yeah. Oh boy, so the next was Eureka and Eureka. Eureka. Eureka, excuse me. Why would it be Eureka? That's stupid. <laughs> Maybe it was your. No, I think it, it was Eureka. I... And they had this whole bit that they were doing where, I mean, well, I love first, the reveal. I mean, I guess. I guess? I, I don't know if I I don't did. know if I did, you was right. like, ha ha, I'm over here. I was behind her the whole time. I'm gonna be honest, I did not care for these looks. I thought these were hideous. I mean, they start walking down, and I was just thinking to myself the whole time, it's tacky, and I hate it. You're tacky, and I hate you. And I thought, you freakas, loaf needed more time in the proving drawer. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty flat. All right, Paul Hollywood. And then with the braid around it, I just, I didn't like this. Well, it looked like it was, uh, swallowing her up the huge yes. oversized yes. dress with the big sleeves and and 
like Miss Cracker says later in Untucked, like the proportions were weird. weird. Her head looked tiny. I thought her makeup looked crazy. Crazy. And so I was just like, yes, Frankie was totally selling the shit out of yep. it and being fabulous yep. and all of that. Yep. But I was like, oh no. Oh no. I did not like this at I'm all. I'm not always a fan of like, let's just wear the exact same dress. No, it shouldn't be twins. Yeah. It's like family resemblance. Like give me a tood more than anything else. Exactly. Like I want a mood from your drag style. Yeah, and then they were doing a whole, Eureka's like the fabulous um, matriarch, older sister, and she's like chastising, berate, yeah, berating Frankie like, oh, don't do it like that, you have to do it like this, and, she, and Frankie's kind of doing like a, oh, I'm, I'm the crazy way. It didn't really, it reminded me it of this land for old me. cartoon that I used to watch with my father. Okay. That was like, there was, it was these fish, and it would be like small fry, and it was like this whole thing, but the mom would like wave her little thing, be like, don't you do that, small fry. It was like a whole thing. I'll show it to you. It doesn't matter. That it was like this weird bit where it was like, it felt old timey and like, well, and are we in a silent movie? What's happening? So the next on the runway is Aquaria and Capricia Corn. Bad name. I would have just gone with Capricorn. Or... Sagittaria. Yes. Something. Yeah. That's not... I mean, maybe he's a Capricorn, but... The dawning of the... Age of Sagittaria? No, just... <laughs> she's, she's... Dawn. He's Dawn. Dawn. Love it. Oh my god. Dawn and Aquaria. Yeah, that's good. It'd be better. That would be better. So they turned the runway and I was like, oh my god, Capricia Corn's face is beat. Beat. She looks, she looks gorgeous. Beautiful. Gorgeous. This huge hair. Yes. This stupid little tiara. I find they're like spilling off of it. Right. I loved it. And then Aquaria's face also beat. She yep. really looked like Sharon. Remember that devil look that Sharon yes. had? It was like the yes. red and the yes. pale face. Aquaria was kind of giving me some like... Sharon Needles meets Morgan McMichaels. Like, if Sharon With Needles big... was being Morgan McMichaels for like Snatch Game or something, which is like these big red shoulder, oh, like yeah. uh, the thigh high boots, and just like stomping. Yeah. I wasn't obsessed with their outfits. Um, I actually really just... liked the outfits. I just didn't necessarily get, aside from the color palette, how they went together. I mean, I got the queen princess thing. Sure. Like, that wasn't a problem for me. Sure. But the actual just like looks of them, I wasn't gagged. Oh really? I was gagged more so by Capricornia. Capricia corn. Capricia corn. I thought she looked stunning. I loved the long gown and I was well, just I like, like, yes, it. bitch work. I don't know, it didn't have that much of a point of view for me, I guess. Oh. That I'd come to expect from Aquaria. But again, she's working with trying to make two outfits sure. and, and all of the above. I just wasn't like gagging over. I was it. pretty gagged by it. So the next was Ms. Cracker and Ms. Cookie. Yeah. And I liked this. I mean, I, I think this had a lot of personality exactly. behind it. Exactly. I think that was what really made it. I didn't quite understand why Ms. Cracker had like a nope. butterfly wreath. I was waiting for them to all fly away. <laughs> you know? I was waiting for it to be like a visor or something. I, don't, I just couldn't I, figure out. I mean, it looked like Violet's like face cage. Remember when she like yes. made that? But that was more sort of, I mean, it was like a make your own outfit challenge, right? Like, Fashion y, whatever. But this, I guess, I just didn't know why. Nope. As like the mom of this slutty teenager, she was wearing a butterfly wreath. But yeah. I mean, it was like interesting to look at. I guess. But I mean, Miss Cookie was selling. The oh, Miss Cookie, but that's, shit I mean, out of she it. was. She stole the entire show. Yes. And she was just like, coy, a coy slut. Yeah. Oh, him, me. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I dropped it. Oh. oh. Oh, you gotta pick it up. <laughs> I mean, she was great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. For me, she, like, stole the entire runway. Well, that's the reason that they won. It's the totally the reason that they won. I thought but it was to fun. me, that's never been a reason, I guess, is the thing. I wanted Miss Cracker to also be the most fabulous. fabulous. And it wasn't quite, it was uneven. Yeah. And so and I was so I was like, ooh, either she's gonna be in the top and win, right? Or they're gonna say you were overshadowed. You got outshined by your queen. And I think for me, the biggest bummer of it was like last week I left being like, I really want to see Miss Cracker break through and have a moment, break free and have a moment. And she didn't. It was the opposite. Whereas like, yeah. oh, she still got overshadowed by her, someone else. Her partner else. broke free and had a moment. Exactly. Her um, Sergeant Peppermint broke free and had a moment. Yeah. The next on the runway was Monet Exchange and Short Change. Yeah. And I thought they had a lot of fun. Yep. 
Um, I thought Tyler looked insane. At like, first I liked it and I was like, well, this is fun. And then I was just like, Because well, he oh. was selling it. Yes. Like, he was feeling himself yep. and having a great time yep. and like living on the right They way. both were having a lot and of fun. I was fun. like, okay, Monet looked gorgeous. Yep. So I was like, okay. I really think they should have swapped wigs. I think that would have helped a lot. Because this wig aged short change. I think the makeup also, I would have liked was, a lip. I mean, the, I mean, it was, it was like fun to look at. Cause I was like, what's this? And every time she would do something sassy, but she looked like this like middle-aged sort of like mom. I was like, yeah. what's going on here? It, it was certainly kind of giving me some like Anna Gasser realness. Like Marissa Jared Winokur. There, like was there was something there. I'm not entirely sure. There was personality. Yes. But like the face, she did her dirty. It wasn't. Oh, not on purpose. No. She did her dirty. Yeah, it just didn't quite click. And unfortunately for Monet, that was, was all it took. Yeah. Um, And I personally preferred their runway where it was just, we're going to work the runway fiercely and do our thing rather than we're going to have this whole bit and whatever. I personally don't Oh, I had that. more fun watching them for sure. Yeah. It's Miss Short Changes' 21st birthday. What? On what planet? 21? 42nd birthday. Right? It's her half 21st birthday. <laughs> yeah. Her 21st, 21st birthday. So then last was Cameron Michaels and... And Kelly Michaels. Oh, right. Kelly Michaels. Bye, Kelly. Bye. Bye. This was pretty bad. They came out and I was like, oh, so Cameron's definitely in the bottom. <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't think this was like a train wreck. I thought he was a bit bouncy and, and uncomfortable on the sure. runway. You know, yeah. I mean, he didn't really like get into that character quite. No. And you know, I mean, I, I saw what they were going for. I didn't think it was the most fabulous by any means, but I didn't think anybody, I mean, I did not like Eureka's outfits, but no. I didn't think anyone was like a total miss tonight. No, not really. I thought Cameron was the worst and it wasn't a disaster. No. But it was definitely the weakest. But it was true that like, uh, even just switching their earrings, I feel like really would have helped. Sure. Which is so weird to say, but like, Kelly had have black the, earrings that and blended black hair with her, and so yeah. I was like, just swap those. Yeah. I also think that they were right where they should have, she should have done more similar wigs. Right, because they did look like best friends sure. instead of sisters. Right. Which, I mean, who cares? Like, let's calm down with this, like, semantics. Exactly. But, but whatever. Oh, yeah. you didn't wear the same outfit exactly and paint her exactly the same. So. Right, but that wasn't really my issue. No, I know. I just get sick of the judges being I like, agree. you didn't, you know, the family resemblance wasn't. Well, particularly, like, for me with Monet, well, I don't know, Monet's. It was not good. Yeah. Eureka really ended up screwing Monet, really. Yeah. In trying to screw Aquaria, she screwed Monet. Yep. Well, then we get the DIY oh, yeah. video. I was confused. This was just so that they could have all of the YouTube stars posted on YouTube. Exactly. But like in the workroom, we was like, oh, I forgot to tell you. Oh, right. You're going to have to do a DIY video to my song, Charisma, Uniqueness, Nerve, and Talent. And I thought, oh, this will be a good opportunity for the YouTubers to like be creative yep. and like show the queens how they do their shows yep. or like how, yep. what they're like or whatever. I thought it was going to be like a challenge. Yep. And then it turns out, no, you're just going to dance in front of the camera for this entire song and we're just going to make a music video. Yeah, it on was the pretty cheap. bad. Yep. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. And I was bummed by that. I actually was like, oh, this would have been a really fun challenge Yeah. to have them go to the YouTube space, work with a YouTube, like with YouTubers. I'm like, trying to build their online presence or whatever. Like, yeah, that I think be that'd be really a good cool. Crossover. Yeah. Cause like, what did DIY have anything to do with it? Nothing. Video? I mean, it wasn't a music video. It was just a webcam, like sing along. And then kind of lip syncing. Like it was, yeah. no one stood out to me in particular. It was just blah. We're just gonna have a like, webcam dance party that we're gonna have everyone post on YouTube. It yep. was what it was. <laughs> yep, but pretty much, yeah. it was, and then it was like, oh, you guys really sold it or you fell back into the back. I'm like, this is nonsense. All of this is nonsense. How, how am I supposed to judge them on this? This is... I really, I really thought it was going to be more. Yeah. And then we get to the judging. And I was confused. So yeah. they're really harsh on Aquaria. Yes. I don't necessarily think she was in the top either. Sure. But their judging um, was weird. Michelle keeps calling uh, Capricia's outfit Little House on the Prairie. Right. And I didn't see it at all. At I was all. Like, I guess because there's... Feathers? feathers here? That seems kind of rude. Right? Like, I didn't, I I didn't see it at all. I literally didn't see Little House of the Prairie at all. She had the tiara, she had the big ball gown. And then I everybody like, kept picking up on it and saying like, oh, oh yeah, yeah Little, House, mean, of Little House of the Prairie. Little House of the Prairie. Little House of the Prairie. I was like, what are 
just talking about? Little House on the Prairie? Right? I'm this confused. is like more King and I than Little House on the Prairie. Well, it's like more my super sweet 16 than anything. That's true. And then, I mean, we get Miss Cookie just stealing even more of the show. Oh They're like, God. you're just like Marilyn Monroe. And it's just, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy Girl. birthday. <laughs> you better not. <laughs> Mr. President. Mr. President. Okay, it was great. <laughs> she was living her life. Yes. So, Ms. Cracker wins. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think the only other person that I think could have won was Asia. Yeah, I thought Asia did a better job at the challenge of like makeover, family resemblance, whatever. Like I thought working Ms. Cracker's, together, like yes. both being fabulous. Yeah. But Miss Cracker's makeover was everything. Oh my god, it was gorgeous. So for that alone, I was like, yeah, yeah. You, you can win. And then and then fine. he really sold it and made it yeah. fabulous and fun. So it's like, okay, sure. Monet and Cameron are in the bottom two, and I yeah. was bummed. I was too. I mean, I guess at the beginning of the episode, uh, when. Eureka's shadily trying to hand out parts or whatever and picks Frankie. Yeah. I was like, what if Cameron and Eureka are in the bottom again and then it's just a double elimination? I mean, that would have been It would have been amazing. everything. And it was almost there. But I think that realistically, I just would have swapped Eureka and Aquaria. I thought Aquaria did better than Eureka and Eureka would have been in the bottom three. Sure. But I don't, I, th I think regardless, it kind of had to be Monet and Cameron in yeah. the bottom two. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they lip sync to Lizzo's Good As Hell. I love it. I loved this song. Oh yeah. I, I've never heard this song before. Of course not, um, But, but okay. I really liked it. Yeah, I personally thought that Monet did better. I thought they both fucking slayed. And I was honestly like, damn it, why'd you waste that double save? You exactly. should have used it this, this week. This time. Send Eureka home last week. Yep. And then Cameron and Monet, double save. Yeah. I mean, yes. So I thought they were, they were both amazing. Yes. Monet's just killing it. She was doing it slightly more comical. Cameron was just being really fierce and high energy and like really, I mean, she really comes alive in the lip sync. Yes, she does. And then at some point, Monet just starts walking oh, yeah. back to the back and says, where are you going? What's going on, Monet? Where She's are you going? Go walk out that door. Behind the curtain and She's you're like, like, what's going on? What's happening? And she comes, she oh, comes out, and just runs slides, and slides into home. Breaks the bulb. Breaks the bulb. I mean, it's like straight out of League of Their Own. Oh my you know, god, like right? Waiting for like the big bruise, you know, like the skid mark. Thank oh. And Ruth's face was like, uh, like it was That like, was when I was like, oh, either the editors did this or whatever, but I was like, Monet's going home. I mean, I loved it, but it was it was a bit messy. It was a bit messy. As messy and whatever as that was, it was at least fun and different. Yeah, yeah. Whereas yeah. like Cameron was giving me splits and whatever, and I just wasn't Oh, I was feeling. I it. was feeling her energy. See, I didn't. I. I just. It wasn't that it was. Feel, it wasn't feeling her energy. I just didn't feel those moves in the song or oh. like what I was like. Okay, you're giving me twirls. I don't know. I. I felt it. I was here for it. I thought they both fucking slayed, and I was like so. When earlier in the episode, right. Asia was like, "You don't know. They could do a double save again. You never know." I was like, "Are they gonna do a double save again? Are we just gonna be reviewing season ten until the end of time?" <laughs> But Cameron stays. I think part of it was Monet had been in the bottom twice. Yeah, this was her third time. I really like Monet. I do too. Um, I'm gonna miss her. I'm she gonna was miss really her. Fun. I mean, there's not that much more of this season. Right. But I really, I, she was really fun, and yes. I thought she was fabulous. I did too. I would if she had turned some better runway looks. Oh, she would have been fine. And it was really her runway that kept that kept her down. Her. And then Monet's crying into her sponge. <laughs> really trying to make it happen. Oh, she's really trying it. Pretty sad about it. I'm pretty sad about it. I feel it. like the fun is seeping away yep. from this cast. Yep. And I'm also like, where's Monique though? We didn't talk about Monique at all this episode. No, and I would have um, <laughs> really have, loved her in this she episode. She would have killed this challenge. It would have been so good. Oh, it would have been fabulous. I would have just been living. So, so this, this week, week on Untuck. It was okay. It was interesting. Well, it starts and Eureka is complimenting Asia on her... She's, oh, you're wearing your breastplate this yeah, week? Oh, and that body oh, Adi. Oh, 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 who me? Oh, who me? Oh, who me? I mean, so she fun. looked fabulous. I yeah. love that bodysuit or whatever with the mesh and the... Yeah. She looked good. Yeah. She's totally like, you know, just like showing off and then everyone collectively is just like, but like, we can all agree that like, we hate Eureka's dress, right? <laughs> Well, first, Eureka's like, I just want to point out, y'all, and then I'll shut up, but like, honestly, I'm not oh, going to, right, but I'm going right. to point out that Michelle loved my looks. Michelle Visage liked my dresses that I made. 
<laughs> okay, time out, time out, time out. I'm gonna be real honest. I think those are so tacky. Everyone else is just like, um, yeah, that is a surprise because yeah. we all think that it's ticky tacky. tack awful. And they just tell her to her face. Yeah. They're just like, what is this? Love you, girl, but this is tacky. I'm sorry, I love you as well. Eureka, I love you the house down. I think those are such a tacky fabric. I agree with them. I do oh. not like this. Oh, outfit. no, I didn't care for it at all. And Eureka and Cameron sort of end up going off yes. to the mirrors. And they, they, I feel like they really have formed like a nice friendship. Yeah. I think it is alienating them. Yes. And and I think maybe that's part of why I have this toot about them, where it's just yeah. like... Yeah, and it is, I feel like it's causing the other girls to kind of have a toot about them, yeah. too. And, like, I can appreciate both sides. Like, I'm yeah. like, they seem like lovely, close friends. That's yep. nice. And also I see how that, you know... But Miss Cracker was going in on oh. Euphrica. She was just like, so I feel like there was something very scary on the runway, and it was Euphrica's face. Euphrica's face was... Really scary, and I felt there was a real legitimate proportionizing problem. Her hips were in her thighs. Yeah. And her proportionizing, yep. and her small head, and her low hips. I mean, she was just like breaking it down. down. And I was like, I'm here with you, girl. Her tits were way, way, way too big. Her Are shoulders were enormous. And her head with the loaf was tiny. Preaching to the choir over here. Aquarius sort of talking about like, yeah, I mean, I'm no one to judge like, choices on the runway, but like, I know this was a no or whatever. And he's just, just like, I like this aquarium. Thanks. I didn't like that aquarium last week, but this one I can f with. Asia sort of talks to Monet, and she's like, oh, I don't think you're going home, but like, I do want to say that like, you're fabulous. Yeah. Like, you surprised me. I really didn't think you were going to be as fierce right. and fabulous as you are. And yeah. I, like, I remember seeing you oh get up there and you turn and that light hit you and you dip that chin into that light and lifted it up. And I was like, oh, this bitch, bitch is cooking it. <laughs> and then we get Eureka and Cameron talking in the Virginia Slims uh, loading <laughs> exterior dock lounge. exterior lounge. And is it the, I feel like it should be the Virginia Slims exterior illusions lounge. Yes, that's yes, exactly what it's okay. called. I mean, girl, they, you know they hate my outfit. Girl, they're meant to be 90s old school drag reference. I mean, I know that they hate my look, but like, I meant to make it ugly. It was supposed to be like tacky old school 90s, 90s drag. drag. And I was like, is that what you went for? Because this isn't that different than other drag you've done. No. I think it's worse, but it's very similar. Yes. In silhouette, in yep. style. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like you're really trying to make this whole. I meant to be tacky 90s drag narrative on purpose thing happen and it's not happening. Right, that's how I felt. Cause I was like, to be honest, this does feel like the house of O'Hara. Of, of the Eureka O'Hara. Eureka O'Hara's. To specify. And then everyone's sort of sitting around. They, oh, cause the, the, the um, makeover, the social media kings have left. Right, and now they come back. The way that you paired everyone up, it was so perfect. Yeah. Like, it just felt yeah. like everyone was supposed to be with their person. And then Eureka's like, oh, I mean, well, I was definitely trying to be shady to some people. And and like, name names, they're girl. They're like, who, who? This is Untalk, let your dick out and let talk. Let your dick out and talk. Oh. Oh, I miss her. Very bad. And then this got really icky. Name names. I was trying to make it a little harder. Yeah, say oh. some names. Tell us. Aquaria. I, I thought it would be harder for, for her Aquaria. to make you over and make her look like you. And it's just like, uh, and then Asia is like, yeah, I mean, I'm surprised you didn't put her with either me or Monet. And Kingsley is even like, I didn't know if maybe you were trying to shade Monet and right. Asia by not giving them to me. No, I'm not I'm offended. Okay. I'm okay. just, you know. <laughs> no, I think you're amazing. This was, I think, part of also for me why Eureka was on my shit list this week. But I feel like Kingsley would be an amazing partner for anyone because he's yeah, such a fan I mean, of this it, show. It didn't have anything to do with Kingsley I understand, in general. Like, Kingsley probably thought, okay, you're not gonna put me with one of the black girls? Now, wait a minute. I did. I did like that the whole time this entire conversation is going down, Aquaria is like stretching oh, yes. and practicing in the mirror and just like feeling herself and like unaware of what's happening. Yep, she's not part of this conversation. She's and just it doesn't like, matter. And then uh, Monet is packing up her stuff and she is still trying to make sponge happen. Oh she takes off this dress. I mean, she's I mean, not ready to let it go. She's like, I'm gonna keep this out. I mean, it's getting funnier. It's like that joke of like, you do the same thing over and over, it's funny, and then, and then it's yeah. not funny, and then you do it enough times that it's funny again. It's yeah. kind of come back around, and because it, it's so silly. I mean, no offense to Cynthia Lee Fontaine, aka Frankie Grande, but like, <laughs> you know, 
I feel like trying to make cuckoo happen didn't have the levity that the sponge dress has. No, no, it didn't. In many different ways. Yes. She's packing all of her stuff up and she starts trying oh, on all her wigs. Fabulous wigs. This Tina Turner Bam Bam wig. Oh my god. With then the, the With the like the cheetah, cheetah onesie. onesie. I was like, but this just go out like this. Yeah. Like why didn't you wear this on the runway? <laughs> and then she's just trying on all her wigs yeah. and just like, you know, saying goodbye. And I'm gonna miss her. I'm gonna miss Bonet. I'm gonna miss her a lot. She brought a lightness. Yep. I feel like she was a good peacemaker. She really was. She was very mature. She never had like an ugly moment. Not really. Um, you know, and, and she was a fun, bright light. Yes. And you know, I'm glad that she did well. She, yeah, exactly. This, this was a very successful season for her. This isn't a, a loss for her. No. This was great. She yeah. was fabulous. Yes. So cheers to Monet Exchange. Cheers to Monet Exchange. And Monet Cart. Always. Always. <laughs> Bitch, are you in a coma? <laughs> <laughs>